And I would like to thank my first mate supporters, Andre Cruz. This is Down the Diecast Pirate, and today I have for you this month's Subscriber's Choice build. And for the month of April, you guys chose this Buick tuned car. And I kind of have an idea what I want to do with it, but let's get it up on the turntable table and take a look. So I think I saw... If I remember correctly, maybe Jim Silva did one of these one time. And I asked him if he wanted this one. He's like, no, I challenge you to do it. I'm like, I don't want to. And so I put it up to the choice for you guys. And what did you pick? Yep. You guys picked this one. So <laughs> thank you for agreeing with Jim that I needed to do this. <laughs> so we will uh, get it taken apart and see what we have to work with. All right. So got almost 100% paint removal still some little spaces uh, sticking around in the crevices and the headlight and whatnot but we'll get all that cleaned up and uh, get this thing polished up I got everything cleaned up I got the chrome off of there I don't remember what all I recorded the last time uh, didn't go ahead and polish this body up um, not for what I'm going to do, but as a backup plan, if what I'm doing doesn't work, then I'll strip it and we'll go a different direction. Um, but I'm hope I have a, I have an idea, and this is the first thing I thought of when I thought of what I could do with this car. I was like, if I can do what, and I don't want to say what I'm thinking of because if it doesn't work, I'm not going to show you. There's going to be too much video. There'll be too much footage to include it. So let's just put it that way. But I'm going to start with the black Stano Rest Primer. I'm going to cover everything with that um, just to get everything prepped. Obviously, the interior will go a different color. Not that you'll be able to see much of it. But I'm thinking like a, a light color on the interior just so it shows something, right? The base will stay the black primer. Um, and then we'll do. I'm going to put the same color on those lower parts on the sides as I am on the body of the car. We may end up putting the interior color over that so I don't have to tape it off. I'll probably brush paint the interior just to make it easier so I don't have to tape because um, I don't want to deal with that, if that makes sense. Not because, of, not because I couldn't do it, just because... It's such a goofy shape, you'd have to tape along this line and, and everything on both sides and get everything covered so the color didn't go into the interior. throw some paint on this turd by the way that's what my initial thought to name the car was the turd I won't go into the story behind it but it's not really a story I just I didn't know what to do with the car but I think it's gonna keep the name <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to mix some opaque purple Createx with some metal medium from Vallejo and reduce it with a 4020 automotive producer and I don't know how this is going to come out so this is my plan for this if this fails we're going to start over and go a different direction and I don't know what that direction is going to be so this can't fail <laughs> all right all right, so I went ahead and mixed up the purple with the metal medium. And I don't know if you're going to catch that sparkle on camera, but that's kind of what we're going for. 
and now I'm going to reduce it. And I don't know, maybe about that much. Let's stir it up good so it's a good consistency. looking now normally this would go 40 to 50 psi in the paint I don't know what we're gonna end up going with I could add some more reducer to it but just to make it flow even flow more freely less psi um, the thinner of the viscosity, the the smoother the paint, right? When it goes on thicker, it's you don't get as smooth of a finish. And I'm also wanting to do something over the top of this. So give it a shot and see what happens shall we alright so this is where we end up with I just brought these out of the air fryer stuck them in there for 15 minutes at 150 degrees because that's as low as it'll go I was talking to Chuck over at Flagging Valiant the other night and asking him about it and he said between 130 150 degrees for 15 minutes um, so it's gonna be 150 um, I did get a bit of a run in the back there I don't know if it's showing through but it's not gonna matter because we're gonna murder it so I forgot to order candy black when I first ordered these candy paints I placed an order online and the shipping would have been covered if I had remembered to if I had clicked on it and added it to the order um, like some of this stuff I can go to Hobby Lobby and pick up but they don't have the candy black I don't know why they don't keep it in stock. They don't. They don't stock it. Their display's not set up for it. Um, but in to order just that one bottle was going to be eight dollars shipping, and at the time I was like, nah, I'll get it another time. Well, I forgot the candy colors. You have to cover with the bleed checker. But I was also re not reading. I was watching a video on candy paints, and you can actually mix the bleed checker with the candy 2.0 um, and then the colors won't run now this is a candy midnight blue and we don't have a black but what I do have is black dye so I'm thinking that if I add a little bit of black to the blue it's gonna push it to the dark side so that's what we're gonna go with so I got a little bit of the, that candy blue in there and I just want to add one drop of black because I'm looking in there and it's not looking very black to me and hoping I mean worst case scenario I have to start over right so let's just take some of this to me of black all right this is a flat black. This mixed up very well already. It's not really going to matter much. And let's just take a tiny bit in the dropper. Okay. Maybe a bit more. Okay. 
close this back up and see what we get. Okay, that's starting to look black. What it was is the seal on this got broken and it was dried out. So that's why it did not mix well. And hopefully it just stuck to that stick. And it won't be a problem. It's not really saying what pressure to air pressure to spray this at. I could check the website, but I think I'm just gonna wing it. All right, so we're at like 21.2 PSI right now. That's gonna come out very well. So here's where we're at with it. Um, I don't know how well this is shown on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a, cl a gloss clear coat over it. Uh, just to, and this is after I baked it again in the air fryer. No, baked. Put it in the air fryer for another 15 minutes, and it's completely dry now. And we're gonna go ahead and, and again, this is just straight with a 0.5 needle. Uh, it says to uh, spray it with uh, 50 psi. Now. I do thin this, Ooh, got way too much in there, let's dump some of that back in the bottle. I do thin this with the automotive reducer, so this makes this up good. We want it nice and thin, I'm trying to spray this stuff thinner, um, I don't like the how th thick it sprays. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the murdered turd. Alright, let's get this thing up on the turntable and take a look at it. Here it is, the murdered candy Buick tuned car from Hot Wheels. Put Samed wheels on it. Uh, the black did not cover as well as I thought it did last night. This driver's side looks great. Um, the front, right along the side, there's a little bit where it didn't go on as thick as it should have. And then up along this side, on this side, it didn't cover really the top part is at all. <clears throat> and then in the back a little bit. But overall, I mean, it displays well, and it does. You know, let me see if I can get a light on this and really show you the difference here. All right. Let's see how this does. Alright. So we go dark. And then we bring in a light. And that purple just pops. I don't think it's too bad for my first attempt. You know, considering that I... This is only my second attempt at painting candy. And I went for, like, probably one of the hardest 
uh, effects to pull off and I think it came out pretty good so just to go back now you're supposed to paint over a black base um, but I didn't use a candy paint for the color layer right I used the opaque purple so I went over the black style rose and, I, and then I went with the opaque purple it added the metal medium to give it the flake and then we took the candy 2.0 midnight blue and we added Tamiya flat black to it just a little bit just to give it the cut the to give it the black color and I added the bleed checker to it so the colors wouldn't run and then we went over it with the gloss top coat with the automotive reducer added in so that's seven products for one paint job now like on the passenger side on the top part of the car where it didn't color as well as I thought it did um, on the bottom part of the car the plastic part there was actually spots where paint was missing like on the on the passenger side and that's when I decided to go ahead and use the Molito on that part of the car um, because this was last night that was Wednesday night last night tonight's Thursday I need to finish this up and then I have to finish the uh, ratty muscle car build for the four horsemen that's due in the morning as well so I have to wrap this video up get that car done wrap that video up and get everything edited and uploaded for release tomorrow so although I did get this car knocked out quickly in just a few hours the paint is not exactly what I would like but now I know going forward that if I go to do this again to take a little more time and evaluate what I'm looking at right so I'm not gonna repaint this car it's gonna stay just the way it is and in January it is going to be a prize now why did I come up with the name the murdered church well obviously murdered is from the color I murdered the, <laughs> murdered the paint made it black um, the turd. I first got this car in my first trade with Cole over at Kuda's Diecast Customs and I sent him some cars, he sent me some cars and I saw this thing and I, I looked at it and I sent Jim Silva a message on Patreon. I was like, hey, do you want this thing? He's like, no, you do something with it. He says, uh, you know, I forget how he put it it was like it's outside your comfort zone see what you can do with it and I was like well I don't even know what I do with this thing unless I painted it brown and called it the turd <laughs> and I had this thought well I'd paint it brown and, and call it the turd and send it to another person and they could record it and put up a video and they could send it to another person they could record it and put up a video and on and on and on and I was like you know what no subscribers choice and then I was and then shortly after that I decided to start the subscribers choice and I was like you know I don't want to build this car but I'm gonna put it in the lineup for the first vote and leave it up to you guys uh, and this is the car you guys chose so I've built it and come January next year it will belong to one of you and I will ship it out to you to one of you when we have the drawing in January um, so <laughs> I think I've rambled on long enough uh, uh, just a reminder I do post beauty shots of my builds on Instagram so if you follow me on there you'll get to see pictures of this car up on there and all the other cars that I've built um, and going to build. Uh, I also have a Patreon if you choose to support the channel in that way. Minimum amounts five dollars a month and that'll get your name in my video and get you uh, so you can see uh, pictures of works in progress and uh, different things. Uh, so yeah. If you're not subscribed please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. I really enjoy all the comments. And click that like button for me. It really helps a lot. And I really love seeing all the likes. Alright. And ring that bell for notifications. 
As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I will see you next time.